So myself Bunjan Singla, I am from BSc Honors First Year student from JCRC University Jaipur. Uh, my topic is Amyloglobulins, the unique identification of tooth skin. So, forensic odontology has played a key role in identification of decomposed and disfigured bodies like that of drowned person, fire victims. Victims of vehicle accident, etc. The various methods employed in forensic odontology include rugoscopy, telescopy, bite marks, tooth marks, radiographs, etc. Tooth uh, prints are the term used to describe the animal rod and patterns. Amyloglastics is the term used for the study of patterns of animal rods. Amyloglastics is the term. Uh, the uniqueness of the tooth print could be used as a valuable tool in forensic science for personal identification. Moving further, animal rods are the fundamental units of tooth animal. They are made up of hydroxyapatite crystals. They are also known as animal teeth. They are arranged in rows along the tooth, long axis of animal rod, and is usually perpendicular to underlying animal dentine junction. The size and diameter of the animal rod increase as they reach the outer surface. Now we have patterns of uh, animal rod, and we have three main patterns. First is circular, then aligned in parallel rod, and next is arranged in staggered rows as that the tail of the prism lies between two heads in next row, giving a keyhole appearance. Then we have various methods and techniques to study the animal rod patterns. So first is acid etching. Acid etching is the use of an acid substance to prepare the tooth's natural animal for the application of an adhesive. Acid reference the surface microscopically, increasing retention of present sealant. Etching of dental animal with acid removes the smear layer and opens animal tubule. The effect of acid aging on animal depends on kind of acid use, acid concentration, etching time, form of etching, whether animal is uh, instrumented before etching, chemical composition, and condition of animal, and so on. About 30% phosphoric acid in gel form is the most commonly used to etch the animal. Three types of etch patterns we can obtain from this technique. Predominant dissolution of prism cores, predominant dissolution of prism peripheries, and no prism structure is obtained. Then we're moving further to reports of animal rod patterns. We can use cellophane tray and cellulose acetate film for recording of animal rod patterns. Cellophane, cellophane tape is used for recording and duplication of animal rod patterns of animal surface. As we can see in the diagram, then diagram we present a schematic representation of animal rod and recording using cellophane tape and cellulose acetate film. Moving further, we have cellulose acetate film or peel technique. Cellulose acetate film records the complete pattern and sub pattern of the animal rods and accurately when compared with cellophane tape and light body double base impression compound. Hence, cellulose acetate film is considered as definitive material for recording animal rod endings on the superficial tooth surface for personal identification. Then moving further to biometric analysis. It is a technology of identification or authentication of a person which transforms a biological, morphological, or behavioral characteristics in a digital value. Here we can use very finger software which identify each duplicate recording of a tooth with the use of minutiae. Animal rod patterns are recognized by the software that is very finger SDK V5.0. Minutiae points are specific identification points on animal rod and patterns which are recorded by the software for further identification and verification. Minutia also used to compare the similarity and variability of two patterns. Animal rod edge patterns are unique between the male and female subjects, as we can see in the diagram. Visual analysis showed that the wavy branch sub pattern was the predominant sub pattern observed among examined teeth. Now, moving further, we have recreation of human identity using tooth prints. So, animal rod end patterns are unique for each tooth and may be used as an adjunct with other methods for personal identification. This technique is simple, inexpensive, and rapid method, which can also perform by dental auxiliary stuff. Usually, this method of personal identification can be included, like uh, anti mortem dental records of firefighters, dead pilots, and so on. And this record must be updated periodically to overcome the animal loss due to wear and tear. This is also one of our challenges that we face. We have so, uh, also so many challenges like fracture, decayed, eroded teeth uh, cannot be included in this study. We have one challenge for field technique that is, it is complex to record the surface animal road endings of the complete teeth because of improper adaptation of cellulose acetate film on the irregular tooth surface. I would like to give one recommendation here that is, it is recommended that the fiber optic laser scanner that can scan the complete teeth should be developed with a software dedicated to study animal road endings. 
Now I'll concluded that ameloglavic is gaining popularity as a tool in personal identification. Though there is a need for anti-mortem records for matching, and also the reliability of fingerprint analyzing software that is very finger in the analysis is unknown. Even though tooth prints are unique to an individual tooth, the value of it as a tool in forensic science for personal identification depends on its reproduction and permanency. Further studies are required to explore its significance in personal identification, especially in mass disasters. So here are references. Thank you.